And good morning, Math Masters of Virtual Room 502. Could be working on our problem set, lesson 37, and that's page number, it looks like 111. So let's go and do that. Page 111-0204-2021. So go ahead and pause the video while you get your problem set up. And welcome back. Solve 14 times 12 using four partial products and two partial products. Remember to think in terms of units as you solve. Write an expression to find the area of each smaller rectangle in the area model. So they want you to write an expression, okay? So we're going to start out with 12 times 14, and let's do 4 times 2. What does 4 times 2 equal? 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so that's our first uh, problem, 4 ones times two ones equals eight ones. What are we doing next? I can put the eight up there too. It says the four ones times one ten. So basically it's four times 10, right? Four ones times one ten, four times 10 is 40. Okay, let's see what else is next here. Now we're seeing one ten times two ones. So 10 times 2, what does that equal? 10 times 2 is 20. And we have our 20 here. And our 20 down here. What are we left with? 10 times 10. Well, we all know what 10 times 10 is. We learned that a long time ago. It equals 100. So 10 times 10 equals 10 tenths, which is 100. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 zeros. All sorts of ways of looking at it. Now we're ready to add 8. 4 plus 2 is 6, and bring down the 1. Looks like we have an answer of 168, okay? Let's see what happens with the two partial products. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this, he says. Okay, we're going to do 4 times 12 to start things out. All right, 4 times 12. What is 4 times 12? You don't know that off the top of the head or off the top of your head. There's no... Uh, shame in doing it like this. 2 times 4 is 8, and 1 times 4 is 4, so it's 48. All right, and we put 48 right here. Now we're asked to do 1 10 times 12 ones, so 12 times 10, right? 1 10 times 12 ones. Well, I know 12 times 1 is 12, and bring up this 0, and we have 120, and 120. What's our answer? 8. Six and one looks like they are the same. Okay, if you're comfortable with this, and uh, you, some of you may be, go ahead and go for it on this one. Let's just read this. It says solve 32 times 43 using four partial products and two partial products. Match each partial product to the, its area model on the models. Area on the models. Remember to think in terms of units as you solve. So the first problem we're doing is 43 times 32. And what are we going to do? Two ones times three ones equals six ones. Two times three equals six. Then we do um, two ones times four tens. Well, think about it. Two times four is eight, but we're dealing in tens, so I'm going to put 80 there. Two times four is eight. Bring down that one zero. Three tens times three ones. Well, three times three is nine, right? And then we bring the zero because it's three tens. And look, three times three is nine, one zero. It's math magic. Three tens times four tens. Well, three times four is 12, and 10 times 10 is 100. So we have two zeros there. So it's 1,200. Three times four is 12 plus the two zeros. We're ready to add six. 8 plus 9 is 17. 2 plus 1 is 3. It looks like our answer is 1,376. Can we check this for reasonableness? Why don't we? 43 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40, and 32 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30. 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, minus 2 zeros, 1,200. Pretty darn close. So we can say this answer is definitely reasonable. Now let's move on over to two partial product territory. See what's happening over here. 
So two ones times 43 ones. So 43 times two. Three times two is six, four times two is eight. We get 86. And look, 86. How about that? Okay, now we're gonna do two tens times 43 ones. Which would equal 43 times 20, all right? Put the zero down here, three, 43 times zero is zero. Three times two is six, four times two is eight. We get 860. Wait, hold on. Two tens. Oh, excuse me, three tens. Mr. Leggett's eyes are going so bad. So 43 times three tens. Da, 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 da. 43 times zero is zero. Three times three is nine. Four times three is 12. Mr. Leggett caught that mistake. We have 1,290. Okay, 1,290, 6 plus 0 is 6, 8 plus 9 is 17. Bring up the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 1,376. We did it twice, so I would say we are correct. So what we did first was two ones times 43, then two tens, or three tens times 43. And that's what we got. Okay, we're going to take a little break. That was a lot of math. And come on back. For part two of the problem set, okay? Okay, Mr. Negan. Got to wait to hit the pause button. What is happening here?